This right here, so good. It's delicious, it's light, it's peppery from the pepper and the arugula. It's got some richness from the olive oil and the walnuts. What's up guys? So what we're gonna be doing today is making some arugula walnut pesto. I have some walnuts that I have been toasting just for a few minutes. We're gonna toast them for about 10 minutes total. And we're gonna start with making the sauce, which is gonna be olive oil base. We'll put in a little bit of pepper, some sherry vinegar, um, some chopped parsley. This is gonna be about a half cup's worth. This is something, some parsley that I grew in my arrow garden. I'm gonna throw in some arugula, a few cloves of garlic, and some lemon zest and lemon juice. And so that's gonna be pretty much it. I should also get my pasta started. So I'm gonna put my water. I already put some water in this pot. Actually, it's not really a pot, it's my weeknight pan. And I'm gonna throw in some salt. Originally, I made this pasta with fettuccine, but we're gonna use linguine today. Um, it's equally delicious. I like the flat noodles uh, more so than any of the round noodles like um, spaghetti or angel hair. So there's a half cup of olive oil. And this is the recipe that I'm using. It's on my blog. Last time I made this was about six months ago. So it's been a while, but the time has come. There's my olive oil. We're going to use two thirds cup of Pecorino Romano. That's from right here. We use my microplane to grate it. <clears throat> and I guess before we start, we should just get things a little bit cleaned up here. So we'll get the garlic out of the way. Get the uh, lemon out of the way also. Just throw the garlic in here. No need to chop it or mince it, anything like that. We're just going to blend everything together. Super easy. And go ahead and chop the parsley too. Get this out of the way. You want about a half cup of Italian parsley. It doesn't matter if it's flat or curly. This adds a little bit of a bite to the sauce along with the arugula. It's a good combination since the arugula is peppery and this is more herbaceous or more herby, you could say. Throw in some arugula now. Looks like there was a flower flour of arugula. Don't want that. So one bag is five ounces. That's how much we're using. And I have the sherry vinegar here. We're going to use two tablespoons. This is one of my favorite vinegars. It's nice and dark. I actually, I got this in Spain a few years ago. If you're not familiar with Spain's agricultural or food products, sherry vinegar and paprika are two of their um, popular food products along with um, olive oil. And we want about two thirds cup Pecorino Romano cheese. This cheese smells like vomit to some people. It's a little stinky, but it's not like vomit to me. I actually like it quite a bit. It's nice and salty. So we're gonna do about two thirds cup. And this is really what makes the pasta salty. Um, I don't add too much salt. On top of this, I would just let the uh, natural flavor of the cheese and all the other ingredients melt together and uh, try to minimize my salt intake as much as possible. All right, so there's about two thirds of a cup of Pecorino Romano. Throw this in here. You can probably grate a little bit more for a garnish or just to serve a little bit later if you'd like. I usually like a little extra cheese, but it's totally up to you. Should have zested this before I cut it, so oops. Double check on your walnuts to make sure that they are not going to get burnt. Looks like these are nice and toasted, so we can let them cool off a little bit and then we'll add them in there. Okay. So there's a little zest. Throw, get out these seeds before we add it to the blender. So there's one half a lemon. Here's the other half. At this point, this is just about ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and put some fresh cracked pepper in here. 
Add a little bit of a peppery kick, a little bit of salt, just a pinch. And let's throw on these walnuts. Alright, so this is ready to go. I'm going to add in maybe a quarter to a half cup of hot pasta water to thin this out a little bit. You don't have to. If you want it really thick, you can just leave it and serve as is. One thing that you want to do is to make sure that you don't overcook the pasta. You want it slightly um, undercooked, slightly before al dente, because we want to mix this pasta sauce in so that the flavors get absorbed uh, by the pasta. So I always used to cook pasta in a pot, but then I saw a video by Sirius Eats where Kenji, who's the one of the main writers of Sirius Eats, cooks his pasta in a very shallow pan using a lot less water. And so I tried that ever since trying that. That's kind of the reason that I'm using a shallow, shallow pot or my weeknight pan instead of a traditional big soup pot, for example. The sherry vinegar is what makes this special. I wouldn't recommend subs substituting any other vinegar. This one has a really smoky-ish, it's a deep, dark, and slightly sweet taste. So you can see this makes a little bit over a cup, maybe about a cup and a half of sauce. So if you're cooking for more people, you can definitely double the recipe to get more sauce and to feed more people. Just go ahead and scoop out some water right now. There's a half cup, just to thin this out a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and drain this now in the sink. So we'll get um, about half of this back into the pan. Throw in about a quarter cup of pasta water and about half of this sauce. This is gonna be so good. You smell this? It's nice and pungent from the arugula, from the parsley, and from the vinegar. It's going to be so good. And put the heat on low. While we let these flavors blend together. And let it cook for about 30 seconds so that it stays nice and hot. Oh yeah. Super easy pasta to make, as you can see. It's got a nice, bright, healthy green color, looking good. No meat, just olive oil and some cheese, as well as some green herbs. Makes for a very light dinner. And plus, it's got a lot of good fat thanks to the walnuts and the olive oil, so another excuse to eat some more pasta. And uh, so if you like this video, let me know by leaving a comment, subscribing if you haven't already, and uh, I'll see you next time.